all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm gonna be talking about zen specifically the token technical analysis side and so much more so be sure to watch the full video and at the end if you enjoyed it please click do me a favor click the like button comment subscribe all them great things zen community you are strong you can literally move a mountain guys we've seen it before with the blockchains coming out we literally impact the whole entire market of that blockchain and we can do it multiple times no matter what network it is i see one comment where it said that base network literally is useful and it's you know it's pretty much got recognition thanks to the zen community which is pretty true i agree about that right base network wouldn't really have been out there or well known or even knew many people if it wasn't for Zen and the volume that it brought up and the community that pretty much flooded into the base, into pretty much what Zen is right now. So I agree with it, man. Now, next up is I'm pretty sure Arbitrum is going to be coming out next in a matter of maybe a few weeks, maybe. So I do see Arbitrum coming up next. Another one to watch out for. If you're continuing to mint Zen, Keep doing so man now it, long term i feel like we're going to get to the point to where it is only going to be possible to do max mints throughout the whole entire time period at a certain time period it's going to be only max mints and i do believe that eventually we're going to start going from pretty much infinite inflation into auto just in a flip of a switch is going to be deflationary the question is are you going to still be here whenever zen does that switch that's the real question you got to ask yourself are you willing to hold on to your zen or continue minting continue claiming all of that stuff until that day happens okay this is a very long term hold you gotta trust the process it fr it is frustrating i get that but at the end of the day hey we cannot turn 10,000 x in a matter of a day right this does take time so at the current time of recording, then the ERC20 token price, it is hovering around six zeros and a five. In the previous videos, I did say, and some of you guys can pretty much prove it down in the comments, that I said, it looks like we could see six zeros and a four eight. Lowest, in my opinion, that I said the worst case scenario, until we saw a bounce was six zeros and a four four look exactly what happened okay the lowest it went was six zeros four seven four three and it bounced i was pretty much spot on okay i was whenever we were over here I was literally, I literally took this, you guys can just watch the videos, right? You you guys know if you have been watching, keeping up to date with my videos and alerts and everything. I alerted we could see six zeros and a four and a half to four, four to four, eight, give or take. I was alerting it whenever we broke through here, literally way over here. I, I called it th two, three weeks in advance. Now we are finally around here. I even told you guys, if you're, you know, dollar cost averaging and doing stuff like that i said i would hold off to doing so right and some of you probably paid attention probably you know took the advice and hold off on buying around this area now we are down here now this is getting juicy very cheap zen it is in a really good support level it's looking like it's a safe zone to buy but is this the actual bottom? That's the real question. You know, technical analysis isn't 100% perfect. It doesn't exactly tell you the bottom, even though majority of the time I have been pretty much correct. You know, whenever I say it's a price, it's a price and it happens, but it's not promised, it's not guaranteed, man. It's just pretty, you, pretty much giving you a idea, a prediction of where it could potentially be at in a potential safe zone to buy in which you can have increased odds of making profit, okay? In this area right here, I said we could get there and that's where you could potentially start buying up some Zen if you want to buy instead of minting. The RSI is very low at a very healthy level. It was just about to be oversold, which it didn't pretty much happen there. The only thing I am very worried about is the 1334 on the daily. They are not even close 
to even crossing. That's a little worrisome for me because because they are so separate, it could potentially mean more downside. How much? I have no idea, man. This is, you know, that's the $1 million question right there. We did have a curl up right here, very slight, in which it looked like the 1334 was going to cross. If these two cross, it is bullish. And if the candlesticks hover on top, on the top side of the 1334, that is a super bullish sign. But we are nowhere near that right now. You know, these two still have a gap to close into for us to turn into a bullish pattern. And man, we've been like that for a hot minute. Oh, since over here it was pretty much a fake out. And I called that too. We went down. And ever since we've just been hovering down, you know, retesting a little bit on that 1334 this purple line right here the purple is the 13 closed by the way we've touched it rejected touched it rejected we've been doing that multiple multiple times until we are able to break through this that's whenever zing will definitely go parabolic man but until then i feel like just still you know dollar cost averaging and being safe about your mints max mints is what i think is personally the best to do so um but man right here it's looking really good uh 4-4 four, four is the worst case scenario but if 4-4 four, four breaks it's i'm gonna have to make a separate video man because it's literally just the, the ground like <laughs> emptiness it could go to however long however low it wants to but i'm trying to be you know positive and optimistic about this and i'm just gonna go off of this floor right now the very strong healthy buy that it happened recently this green candle right here and i really hope this is the bottom now in which we trigger upward at least to enough to be that 1334 to cross that's what i'm hoping for so i'm gonna stick with that until we go below six zeros in a four four i would say if we go below six zeros in a four four i would say pause hold off i want to see what happens first okay but as of right now you know, it bounced, it's looking good, and I hope we continue to go even higher. You know, it's kind of crazy still. Some mints are still profitable depending on when you got in and how many you got and everything depending on the, the gas. Even though right now Ethereum gas is still around 10 to 12 way. Like right now it's 9. Like what in the world? The other day, multiple of my Zentarions went through um, under the Ethereum. I had them pretty much pending on seven and a half Gwei, I think somewhere on there, and they went through. So very happy that I got that and went through. Uh, very cheap and a good amount of bag right there. So I cannot wait for that. So that's what's going on right now for the Zen token price um, under the ERC20. But I'm, you know, I'm really happy that this price got met even though i called it way back here man so hopefully some of you guys didn't get too too wrecked whenever if in case y'all were purchasing a big bag around here you know right now it's still very very cheap the lower it goes in my opinion you know the more <clears throat> the more exits that zen is going to make of course 11 million market cap still pretty decent but we could definitely be a lot higher Zen dot game still doing really really good you know this one it looks like it's doing about 0.5 eth to 1 eth per day give or take if you have not yet checked out Zen dot game i'll leave it down below in the description you're just pretty much buying keys at the end of the uh, this timer when it runs out you pretty much win the jackpot you know 50 percent, and then the rest of it gets distributed to all other type of stuff like apex nfts and so on and so forth so the the keys will also get more and more expensive so it's really good, man. The timer gets reset every time somebody buys a key. Look into that. Do your research. Put in where you can afford to lose, man. The link for this will be down below in the description. Uh, DB Zen still really good as well. This is Evmos. I've been mentioning. I've been on Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter or X. I am Crypto Auto King. The link is also down below in the description. Go follow me. Hit me up. You know, we have. I have conversations with some of you guys, even DMs every now and then, as many as I can. I'm just, you know, trying to interact with people around here. Talking about that, go ahead and um, if you're if, if you're down, join the members, man. Let's create a really good community, a strong community. I'm planning to do live streaming. I was going to live stream yesterday, but things came up and I could not live stream. So I have in store a Friday live stream, you know, where we're going to hang out and everything. So I'll tweet it out. That's why another reason you got to go follow me also on X. That way we can pretty much stay, stay up to date with whatever happens. But I am going really heavy on Evmos. I just claimed 100 billion um, Zen under Evmos today. 
Um, it was like 67 uh, billion under one account and like 30, like 20 to 30 billion on another account. So I know some people are probably going to be like, that's, that's a lie. So here it is. Okay. There you go. 63 billion. That's what it was on this account. The other one had like 20, 23, 27 billion, something like that. Somewhere around there. So in total, it was like a hundred billion, uh, Zen under Evmos in which I think I'm going to go ahead and burn on db zen for me to be able to get more some more dx in that way my rewards could grow and i can have a bigger cut and you know so on and so forth but that's what i'm planning on doing man db zen still doing really good their nfts are doing amazing small little hiccups but nothing that they can just conquer and take over i have a really good idea for db zen in, uh in general the token dx in but i think i might have to have like a sponsor <laughs> so d db zen if you're watching hit me up on twitter or on telegram wherever you know if you're a dev or a group community member or whatever hit me up um i have a very crazy and but good video that would it could potentially do really really good right i believe in it but i do need you know the right funds for this because it's a crazy strategy that i want to do but i think it's going to be a great video for those of you that enjoy that type of content so that's what i'm planning to do on here i cannot wait for pulse chain to launch which is in Pretty much around the corner, you know, optimism, all them other ones, just isn't an exciting September, October era. You know, we just got to come through all of this and the price especially, and we'll do really good throughout the long term. So great things are in the horizon, man. You know, if you're very, if you want to start minting away on optimism and base, which the fees are a lot cheaper now, go ahead, man, put it, we're going to afford to lose, have that strategy going. It's smart, have, you know, pretty much load up, man. This is just, this is even still the early days for Zen. The bull run, whenever it comes, it's going to be crazy. And I know for a fact, a lot of people will regret minting. They're going to regret buying and holding their Zen. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I've seen you guys in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.